Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Abhijit Kumar. I am consultant in nephrology at Medanta Hospital, Lucknow. So today we will discuss regarding what should we do to keep our kidney healthy. But before starting the topic, we should at least know what is the normal functioning of the kidney. So the one of the most important function of the kidney is to purify the blood and to remove nitrogenous waste product like urea and creatinine from the body via urine and to remove extra fluid from our body to maintain the normal homeostasis. So if there is some problem in our kidney, then there will be water retention in the body leading to swelling in the body. Another important function is to maintain the fluid electrolyte and the acid-base balance in our body. So if there is any problem, then there will be tendency of retention of potassium and acid in our body, which is not good for our heart. Also, one of the important function is to regulate blood pressure in our body. So if anybody is having hypertension at a younger age, then he or she should be evaluated for kidney function to know whether he is having any kidney disease or not. And another lastly important function of the kidney is that it produces two important hormones which are needed for maintaining normal hemoglobin in our body and are needed for maintaining our bone in good shape. So what step should we take to maintain the normal functioning of the kidney? The most important thing is the good hydration. So everybody, an adult who is healthy should drink at least 8 to 10 glass of water per day to maintain at least urine output of 2 to 2.5 liter per day. But in certain population like patients who are having kidney disease or who are having heart disease or liver disease, in them water restriction is needed. Second important thing which we should do is we should have a regularly do physical, good phys amount of physical activity in the form of either we should do regular walking for at least 30 minutes per day or engage some uh, ourselves in some aerobic activities like swimming, running, cycling. This is very important to maintain our weight within normal limits. Because if you are obese or you are overweight, then this will increase the risk of developing kidney disease in the future. Third important thing is to have healthy diet. So we should have diet which is less in salt. We should avoid the things which are rich in salt, like papar, chutney, achar, and also should avoid extra salt in our diet. Along with this, the amount of protein should not be too high in our diet, and we should avoid any protein supplements because protein supplements or the extra protein can in future uh, cause damage to the kidney. Along with this, the, the amount of fat should be less in our diet we should avoid saturated fat and the fat rich dairy products and the amount of green leafy vegetables as well as fresh fruit that should be more in our diet this will help in keeping our kidney healthy another important thing which is routinely seen in the practice is many of us are using over the counter pills in the form of painkillers other desi medicines which are not good for the kidney. Some of these desi medicines, they contain heavy metals, which can cause damage to the kidney. So we should avoid taking over-the-counter pills, including painkillers. Another thing is that smoking is also not good for the kidneys because the persons who are frequent smokers, their blood vessels get stiffer with time and they have tendency to develop hypertension in the future. And hypertension will eventually cause damage to the kidney. So avoid smoking. Another thing is that avoid excessive consumption of alcohol. Alcohol, especially the country liquor, they have many injurious things and impurities which can cause damage to the kidney as well as also city can cause damage to the kidney. And last thing which is very important is to regularly consult a doctor and go for the regular checkup if you are having any risk factor for the developing kidney disease, like if you are diabetic, you are hypertensive, you are obese, or you are having any family history of kidney disease. 
these patients they should get routinely at least annually their urine test for albumin as well as kidney function test because this will help us in detecting kidney disease at very early stage likewise if anybody has already hypertensive then these patient should have very aggressive they should aggressively control their blood pressure and the goal for these patient will be bp should be less than 140 by 90 and if along with hypertension they are also having some protein leak in their urine then the goal is the blood pressure should be less than 130 by 80 similarly if you are diabetic then early and aggressive management of diabetes is very important because the patient who are diabetic and have poor control of diabetes then eventually later on they develop kidney problem so these patient should aggressively control their blood sugar to keep keep the hbunc level less than 7 so for this they should have routinely they should routinely monitor their hbunc at least twice per year so that they can keep the hbunc level less than 7 so at finally i would like to conclude with the request that kindly follow all these precautions so that this will help you to keep your kidney healthy and you will stay happy thank you so much